Sean Garrett has signed a, a deal with Cash Money, Young Money, Universal. It's, it's in the final stages. You know what I mean? So, congratulations to Sean Garrett. Somebody got a shucking job while Little Wayne's away. You know what I mean? Maybe it'll be the one. <laughs> Fat Joe has been pushed back to July 27th. What do you think? Fat Joe's album. Didn't he just, didn't he just release the album, though, for like a few months back? Mm, well, Fat Joe works. Yeah. He, 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 I mean, he he's not signed to a major deal anymore, so he pretty much can, I guess, can release albums whenever he feels like it. You know what I mean? But um, I hadn't bought a Fat Joe album since uh, Don Cartagena. That was the last one I purchased. That came out in yeah. 97, I think, actually. 97 and oh, yeah. 98. That was a good album, though. And yeah, the one before that I bought was Jealous One, Still Envy. That was a great album. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I hadn't purchased no more Fat Joe albums since. Definitely and then they had uh, uh, his first one. Um, well, actually, I think it was his second album, with just Joe, uh, Jealous One's Envy. Right. I used to have that album, too. That was right before Don Cartagena. Yeah, and I had a cassette. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I had, I had the disc for that. I used well, to have my a next... lot of good classic CDs. My shit got, my shit got fucking hijacked. Yeah. My garage got robbed. They fucking yeah. jacked my garage. I, I, I bet you that's a hurting feeling when they take your music, man. And Don't take all the rest of this shit, but leave. Years ago, I had a fucking, I had a binder, one of them big ass binders that holds like a good 250 CDs, and I had that motherfucker stocked full, all kinds of dope ass classic East Coast hip hop. And I mean, I had like Cool G rap in there, fucking. Old Mob Deep, Capone and Noriega War Report, like mad dope albums were in there. All the Wu Tang shit I had like twenty Wu Tang albums easy in there. All kinds of dope CDs, and they ended up taking that and a bunch of fucking equipment. A bunch of shit got robbed. Snakes, sneaky motherfuckers. Never even found out who it was either. Yeah, sneaky I, I bet you I can imagine. Yeah, it was, well, it was fucking sick. It was real sick. You wake up and that you find that shit out, just depression. <laughs> <laughs> Instant depression. <laughs> like a fucking tidal wave slapping your face. Instant and, depression. And somebody else having a good time with your shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Enjoying my collection. My massive, extensive collection. With all the fucking booklets and shit. Because I bought everything. You know, I wasn't I wasn't a fucking bootlegger back in the day. Now I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm not going to front. For the most part, if, if I buy an album from somebody, it's got to be dope. I'm not buying an album because you got one dope song on it. That doesn't cut it for me. If you got one dope song, your shit's getting downloaded. Flat out. Yep. Flat out. I'm not download I'm not gonna pay for your album. I'm not paying fucking twenty dollars at FYE to buy your fucking album and that shit is garbage with one decent track. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. So let's let's move on. Kanye West in positive news, Kanye West has rewarded three Chicago schools with a performance, so that's a good look for Kanye, you know. Shout out to Kanye for doing something positive in his community. That's what we need, more positivity in the community, you know. Yeah, um, sure. here's, a, here's a story that uh, I wish Bundy, something must have happened. Bundy got disconnected from the line, but I wish Bundy could hear this one. Charles Hamilton claims that he was the fifth member of Slaughterhouse. No. Oh, what do you think? Shit. <laughs> 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 None of them niggas never even mentioned that. Who's the fifth name. member? Who, he said, "Who's the fifth member of Florida House?" He claims Charles Hamilton. You familiar with Charles Hamilton? Wow. Young boy. The only thing I know from Charles isn't that the dude that got slapped on camera. Yeah, uh, uh, everybody know that. For Yo, him. I saw that slap. That slap was fucking major, dog. Uh huh. Chick let loose on dude. Just destroyed yeah. his face. Fucking slapped the shit out of him. And he had that confused he had look. Exactly. He was looking he had real pause confused. <laughs> he had to pause for me like, this bitch just fucking sucker punch me on TV. He did the he silent scream. Uh-huh. Damn sure it did. Knocked mm -hmm. that nigga had it sideways. Shout out to Charles Hamilton for keeping his name in the news. You know what I mean? He almost, um, he almost got his head. He but, yo, got hey, his head. Hey, but you know what? Respect to him for not, for not hitting the broad in the fucking face, though. Because, you know, he could have been a scumbag. You know, he could have been a piece of shit and fucking rocked her day. Yep. Yeah, he, he could have, have, he could have not, knocked her out. But he was a that would have ruined his whole he career, was, though. He, 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 he would have been right where Chris Brown is. Shit. You know what I mean? He didn't fucking, yeah, he, he didn't Chris Brown it. Fucking Chris yeah. Brown, that guy. That fucking guy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not even going to say anything about that guy. Just fucking wow. That guy, him and Nick Cannon. Wow. Together. Uh, Yo, you can't be mad at Nick Cannon. Look look who Nick Cannon smashed. You can't even be mad at him for that, man. Because if if Mariah will walk up on me, best believe, you know what I mean? I I call my boss like, you know what? Fuck that. I ain't coming back to work no more. I'm I'm with with Mariah now. I'm smashing the butterfly. Yeah, so I, I ain't mad at Nick Cannon for even doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Bundy, you back on the line? Yeah, my phone. I had to charge my phone. Yeah, you missed your favorite Charles Hamilton story. <laughs> What's that now? What's that? <laughs> well, bring it back. Bring it back. I need to hear this one. About he Charles claims he's the, the face. face. No, he yeah. claims he's the yeah. fifth member of Slaughterhouse. <laughs> no reaction? Oh, wait, no, he claimed that? Yeah, that's what he claimed. Oh, he was. He said that though. I thought you said that was a rumor going around. Okay, if you. That's what he, he claims. South with it. Wow, wow. What the fuck is that about? Well, how about this one? The game. This is Rampage Jackson for his role in A Team. Okay, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> if Game and him were to meet face to face, what do you really think would happen? I mean, really. <laughs> Let's break no. it down. One is no, the yeah, that, that, that's that's what happened. That's what happened. You just said it. He'll get broke down. You know what I mean? So, no. one's a world trained fighter, and other is a is a world renowned rapper. What do you think's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Fucking. Well, play that shit. He gonna play that shit off and smile like, oh, oh I would just fuck <laughs> <there."> <laughs> so, you know Don't hit mean? me in my butterfly tattooed on my eye. Uh-huh. <laughs> <That's what laughs> I, 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 I got two more stories. Um. This is on a positive note, and I saved the best for last. Detroit rappers are, are going to unite for a rally against violence this weekend in Detroit. So that, that's a positive thing. They are uh, coming together. You know, wasn't that in Detroit where that young girl, seven years old, got shot by the police during the raid of the house? I think so, I heard something about that. Regardless of wherever that is, that, that's some tragic shit. Yeah, so I know them cats up in Detroit is tearing some shit up. They, they known to tear some shit up up there anyway. So shout out for all of them to coming together and doing something positive. You know, I wonder will Eminem come out. You know, he is a Detroit, probably the most popular rapper from Detroit. So we'll see. Yeah, no doubt. Wow. And last but not least, all my YouTubers, get time to get on the line. I've seen this one in the hip-hop news. The White House has denied reports that President Barack Obama is in the tag team. Whoop, there it is, video. So all my YouTubers go in and Google Woomp, W-H-O-O-M-P, there it is, and you'll see a guy in the video, I swear, it looks just like Barack Obama. And I, I bet probably, you it's him. Probably, it's probably not him. It's probably you know, just I bet you that's guy. him. Yo, you Barack know, since, Obama. Since he, since he, no, hold up. But since the man became president, man, you've been, how many lookalikes have you seen of that guy? And look, <laughs> like, and look exactly got, like him. I'm going to be honest with you. We got bigger things to worry about. Besides that, <laughs> that ain't no damn Barack Obama Especially, in like, video, man. So all my that YouTubers, Barack Obama, man. That's on some old Goop. damn shit. Do y'all remember that shit in 1993? 90, Woomp and, and Womp there. It was two of the joints. They went on yeah. Arsenio Hall and battled each other and shit. You uh, couldn't front. That and Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, man, again, that was another episode of the Negro News. We appreciate Clive. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just say this. Did you just say you say the best for last? That was some bullshit right there. Constantly you say the best for last. I guess the best bullshit, 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 you know. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be the best bullshit. Well, you know how it is. Oh, or, you know, I had one more story. I guess I couldn't read it. Um, DJ Muggs and Ill Bill releasing Kill Devil Hill, August. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm August. August. First. That's something I really am looking forward to because Muggs is a really dope producer. Bill's a really dope MC. You know what I mean? So that'll be dope to peep. I'm I'm really looking forward to the Kill Devil Hill album. Yeah. Definitely. 